let's start from the beginning. Um, so I'm going to present uh, this uh, plugin that I built for the ADT. And um, it's true, uh, this, this whole thing was inspired by last year's ABAPConf. When I heard the uh, speak of Ukash, I, I thought, well, this is the right thing to do. <clears throat> so today I'm going to talk a little bit, uh, well, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit and I'm um, going to talk about Adventas. And then I'm going to say why I did this and uh, what is it for. And I'm going to in, um, present the plugin as well as some features. And um, I'm going to show some examples. And I think if we have some time, we're going to see some code, some examples on the demo, and uh, maybe we are also doing some coding. Okay, <clears throat> so how about me? Well, I'm, I'm coming from the University of Hamburg. Uh, I work at the theoretical computer science department, and I was working on modeling dynamic software architectures. These were multi-agent systems, or plugin systems, and we also developed them. Um, we did uh, the modeling as well as the implementation, and we used it for our own tool. And the modeling was done with using Petri Nets. Those Nets is, is a, it's a modeling framework for um, concurrent systems. It uh, supports verification and it supports also execution. So we are using a special um, dialect of Petri nets, which are called reference nets, and these support object orientation and full Java integration. So you can use Java to build those things, and you can also do the opposite. You can use Java within the tools in the models. <clears throat> and those models um, are actually then Java programs, which support some concurrency features. And the whole thing is implemented in the development IDE Renew, which is the reference network shop. And um, I, we, we remodeled in the beginning of the 2000s, we remodeled the whole system to support a full-fledged uh, plugin system. And um, we have developed uh, plus than 200 plugins for this tool. At the beginning, uh, we started with a um, normal features that were already present, and then we began to to build new plugins. And um, well, I'm going to present a little PetriNet right now, but then uh, this is the last one. And uh, after that, I'm going to present a little bit about my employer, Adventus Consulting, um, for which I've been working since 2017. Okay, this is a presentation from 2005, and uh, it's a, it sees a, shows a demo. We see three Petri nets. The blue ones are um, actually instances, and the white ones are templates or classes. And uh, so we see on the blue screen, in the blue windows, we see um, running instances, and we can see tokens like here. And since this is object oriented, we have a reference to this net, which is the uh, PMS two, in this case. <clears throat> and we can see in this in this model of a uh, plugin management system, we already have sixteen plugins loaded. And when we fire uh, this uh, action here, then um, which is also already called, called tran tran transition, <laughs> then we will see that the, we have a new plugin and it will be inserted in the plugin management system. And there's also a functionality which is shown here. Um, we can toggle the, the palette of the UI. We can also in, inspect this here. And in, in fact, this is a, like an inspection view or a debugging view. So we can see that this plugin is already present in the system. Okay, this was it for PetriNets. Now for something else. Um, this is my company. We see Peter, Timo. Timo has another talk uh, in an hour. Um, then there's Lena, Sarah, and me. And our specialty is um, GTM, Global Trade Management, which is a model module that is uh, connecting MM and SD. 
the main features are the trading contract, which um, bring both sides together, and the tra trading execution workbench, which enables us to do all the business uh, requirements um, that uh, a whole sales trademan needs for his business, like back-to-back uh, -back business or stock business. <clears throat> okay. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm showing this because I'm, I'm having some of the examples which are from this area and uh, those uh, those tables may be, may be not uh, known to everyone. Okay. Why did I do this? Well, I was in this uh, S4 conversion project um, and we dealt uh, with those um, huge list of ATC uh, remarks that we had to integrate. And um, one of them was um, that we needed to uh, adapt the SQL statements. So when Transitioning to a HANA database, we are not sure about the sequence order anymore. And many of those statements in the code and the old code are without order by clause. So, yeah, but which is good. The ATC check will show you those incidents, but um, they're quite numerous. And um, actually, uh, it's getting even more complicated. So, um, first of all, we have uh, to deal with the select statements, but but the normal select statements, they are not so, um, I don't know, they were not so frequent. So um, to add an order by clause often is not necessary because the it is already present or the table is sorted afterwards or something. But the select single statements are usually not with the order by clause. Actually, they can't have an order by clause. So. Um, what, what you do is you have to transform it. And um, what you're looking for is those AD, ADT warnings, A, ATC warnings, I'm sorry for this mistake. Um, select single is possibly not unique. Um, in this case, we don't know which, uh, which one of the results we will get. Um, so we have to convert the select statement um, into a, a statement without select, and then add uh, up to one rows to it. And then we can add an order by clause. And um, well, this is done um, quite quite easily. It's just uh, time consuming. Um, sometimes, though, we have the problem that um, the order by sequence is uh, can't be um, used by by providing um, the primary key because the primary key in many of the change tables have been altered. So um, in the case that um, the tables have been changed on the transition to S4 HANA, usually the development team has added a UUID as a key. And in this case, we have to provide the order by state the sequence explicitly. So for this project, in the end, we ended up with a um, quite large Excel sheet, which contained all the order by sequences that we expected to have. Note that the order by sequence can't be found anymore in the new system, which is S4 HANA, because um, we don't know what the old key was. So we have to look into the old system, if we have some still. OK, this is an example. Actually, this is two examples. Um, so we have a select a single statement. And in this case, um, which is the um, uh, SD side document flow table, we really uh, don't know if this selects a single statement is unique or not. Well, and we, but I know that it's not unique. And in this way, we really don't know which result we will get. And if, if it's the same as we had in the old system. So we want to transform this. And in this case, um, we might also want to transform it. But um, in this case, this should be unique. Mm, yeah. Uh, in addition, also, 
if we have a UUID as P in a table, then uh, we might even get duplicate keys of the old keys, which is, um, yeah, sometimes problematic. Okay, I was looking for something and I found it last year's in last year's talks uh, with Wukash uh, Engel's um, ABA quick fix plugin. And I was looking for the right um, functionality to use. And I uh, stumbled upon the statement assist regex. And I thought this is the right thing to do. Um, just provide a regular expression that um, matches the, the code and then provide a new expression that replaces the code. Okay, first steps, I, I use a small example, uh, move corresponding into uh, equals corresponding hashtag. So this was a quite an easy task. You can have a matching pattern, um, which um, just, consists of the keyword, the two, some spaces, uh, some variables. This is the capturing group one, and this is the capturing group two. Well, actually, this is the capturing group one, this is capturing group two, and this is three. And then we say three equals corresponding hashtag two. <clears throat> okay, simple as it is, works like charm, no problem. Okay. So there's also a different thing. We also have to deal with the pro, um, with the plugin itself. So I looked at the plugin of Luca, Lukash and um, um, I, I, I actually, I was trying to find out what a plugin actually is again. So a plugin is a, a component that can be added to a plugin system. It extends, extends the functionality and the functionality follows a defined lifecycle. So in Eclipse, this would be a jar file or a folder, which is a bundle in OSGI. And then the declaration of dependencies has to be given. And this declaration can contain an extension point. While the plugin of Wukash didn't ex extend or provide any extension point, I had to deal with that and um, <clears throat> try to figure out how to extend it. So. I took the plugin and I added an extension point, uh, which has been defined here. And then I implemented the extension and provided the new plugin. Okay. So what do we have to do? For the extension point, we have to um, provide an extension schema. In this case, additional quick fixes. And we have to provide an interface or class. In this case, I fix a, a pender. And we have to export the packages that we want to export to, to be used by an um, implementing plugin, the function to export the functionality. And uh, last, we have to provide the implementation so that um, the plugin also knows about uh, what we want. In this case, we want to add more quick fixes to the um, prefix plugin. So um, it, it's quite uh, basic. Uh, it's just we we ask the implementation of the ifix appender, in this case, the fix appender of the implementing plugin to um, provide a list of additional plugins. Okay. On the other side, the extension has to declare the requirements. So in this phase, again, <clears throat> the additional quick fixes. And uh, we have to implement the interface to provide um, what the other side needs. And then we have to implement all the rest. OK, but um, this is another point. So what, what did I want for this um, quick fix? Um, well, I needed uh, a matching pattern. So. Um, we have to find the relevant statement. So uh, on the one hand side to decide whether we can use this quick fix and for the other hand to, um, to decompose the statement and um, recompose it with, with, the, with the replacement pattern. So we have to have the replacement pattern 
Um, then I found out that uh, I wanted to have the new syntax. So I have to convert um, into a statement that uses commas for the lists and also um, uses the avobars as a prefix for the variables. And then, um, yeah, I thought um, it would be useful to form format the output, but uh, in the end, I found out it was essential, especially for testing, um, unit testing my code. And um, as optional, I, I thought um, we should also provide the new syntax, which has been introduced last year. Um, which uh, inverts the, the, <clears throat> the field lists uh, to, to have it after, after the from statement. Um, okay, I, I did this as an optional feature. I included this and then um, I, I also thought maybe it would be nice to uh, comment out the original, although I, I really don't use it that much. Um, since you can you always use um, uh, control Z to, to go back and, and try again or whatever. Um, some people also favor a change marker. So I included that. And um, most important, I included a configurable order by list since this um, cannot be uh, uh, <clears throat> decided by uh, any system. Okay, so um, actually, um, to find um, a regular expression that fits the needs is not that easy, as you can uh, see. Uh, probably uh, other people uh, even ask themselves why. Why should you try this? Um, so, but um, I was not looking to to have the whole uh, select syntax covered, but just to see whether I can um, quick fix, like, I don't know, 90% of the statements. So I came up uh, after a couple of trials, I came up with this and um, it's actually, um, I decided to change it um, after, after I had finished. Um, I, I tried, it, I, I decided to change it again. And uh, the main point was that um, my, most of my tests were done in one system and there was a certain style there and that there was a certain order of, of the statements. And then I found out that in other systems, it's not even given, like uh, you can really um, exchange every, every position of the from, of the into and of the where statement. So I, I, I try to to use this um, uh, statement uh, in order to um, to recognize any of those orders. Um, so I have an or operator here and an or operator here, uh, three non-capturing groups and an additional non-capturing group. And I do this three times, which is okay. It's um, yeah, I can I, I can say that it's uh, not that easy, and if it gets bigger, um, your your regular expression is probably um, going to have some problems with other special cases. So replace by uh, quite straightforward. We need the select, we need the fields, we need the from table into variables up to one rows. Okay, and we have to have the order by primary key or um, an ordering sequence. Um, so about the implementation, I, I added commas to the field list and I added arrow to the variables. I um, decided that I wanted to have line feeds in the formatting, so each statement similar to what we have sh I've shown you in the replacement pattern will be in their own lines. And I try to use indent indentation and I know that people have different styles and um, well, my style is that I use uh, lowercase letters as you have seen and um, yeah, I, I think uh, it can be quite easily adapted 
and uh, but uh, at least there is some formatting which is in my view missing in in the ADT so <clears throat> I added the preferences for the quick fix s4 so you can use the optional features you can provide a comment statement um, and actually you can also you should provide the indentation level but um, I haven't uh, really implemented this yet and then you can provide the order by list and the order by list for each um, table that you wish to have a specific order by list you can just add it and give the order by list for instance here for the again the sd document flow uh, we we just use the old key from the old um, ecc and uh, we see that the key contains five elements whereas in the example in the beginning we only saw two elements Okay, <clears throat> after I presented the whole thing, I, I found out that, um, well, actually the formatting is a quite a nice uh, thing to do. Um, and you could also use it uh, in a separate way. So I, I added two more quick fixes, which is the formatting of um, the select single into a new style and the formatting of the select and select into new style. And um, as I've said already, I had the move corresponding quick fix. Okay, this is how it looks. Um, this is the example from the beginning. We have the a document flow here again. This is um, definitely not unique with the only two elements of the key. And um, so we just um, provide the result and the result will be um something like this uh, it fits uh, quite well the what we saw in the replacement pattern um yeah um, in this case we have the primary key and uh, we will only get the order by primary key because um well actually uh, i wonder why this is <laughs> Okay, we will have a look at this uh, in a minute <clears throat> in the system. Okay, another example would be from the GTM. This is um, general document data, WBGT. And um, actually, this is almost how I found this. This selects a single statement um, and it will be transformed into, into this. And here we can see that there's an order by clause. Uh, given, which is uh, taken from the order by list. <clears throat> and here you can see you pre we preserve the lists um, and we add the arrow bars and uh, we add the commas in the field list. So this is another example from the GTM. We have associations items and also here we can see the order by list. And in this case, <clears throat> We see um, um, actually it's a, it's a, it's a, why, why would this be um, one of those uh, elements that are not uh, possibly not unique? Well, the problem is that the key has changed. And so um, this could be possibly not unique, but in fact, it's not because um, uh, this should be sufficient. However, uh, we add all the key elements in the order by list. And the same example, um, or the other, uh, the, the same example as before in the new style um, with the fields keyword after the from statement, we will get um, which also works. Okay, let's come to a conclusion. Um, the, the plugin uh, provides the, the quick fixes for the S4, S4 conversion plug uh, <clears throat> for the S4 conversion projects. Um, these are, in my opinion, quite specialized quick fixes, for which reason I decided to have a separate plugin, which is not integrated in the normal ABAP quick fixes. And um, 
and um, plus we we also provide the formatting and um i will take this time now actually okay i have a couple of minutes um let's have a look at the at the system actually thanks to peter and uh, adventus i can i can use this um he, he, who also supported me in the development, uh, I can also use his system here to show those examples in real time. So this is uh, similar to the um, things we just saw, and we just uh, use the quick fix. And um, in this case, um, um, we get several offers. And um, this is the new one, which, which has a nice uh, little icon to identify where it comes from. So we replace the select single with select up to one rows. And um, it will work quite nicely. OK, let's try another one. Uh, this is the example from the we just saw on the slides. So in this case, um, we see that we can use it directly and we can also see that there is a second quick fix which is the select single replace old style sequel with new style and you see that um, the whole statement is already formatted <clears throat> okay let's go back um, you can also see that uh, in this case um, we preserve the uppercase formatting. In this case, we preserve the lowercase formatting. And um, yeah, what else? Um, okay, we have. Excuse me. We can show the commented out no a comment line so i would say that was the wrong okay let me go on with this um so what did i have i learned regular expressions in my in my thought now is not um the best choice uh, for, for this uh, because uh, for simple changes, it's quite, uh, it works quite well, like uh, what we've seen about the move corresponding. For more complex um, statements, um, we have sometimes uh, surprising results and um, it's getting hard to debug. I um, spent uh, quite some time on regx101.com. Uh, just to debug why something is working and when something is not working, which is um, not always easy with, with regular expressions. And um, yeah, I, I did write some in, um, unit tests, which was quite useful for the um, um, for the transcoding. However, for the formatting reasons, it was um, yeah, it didn't work. Um, and then I was quite surprised that um, the API that I just um, exposed, uh, which um, Lukash also um, picked up uh, eagerly to um, to provide, um, um, was uh, actually changing, and um, which broke my downstream um, implementation. So back into the <clears throat> system again okay what is there uh, to be done in the future um yeah i think um formatting options would be nice so if we can exchange the formatter with another one um which would be quite feasible uh if someone wants to provide a formatter that suits his needs uh, and i would be quite happy to do that um, I, I also um, 
I would also like to append the list of order by sequences. If someone has some suggestions, um, I'm not working in all modules of SFP. So, um, <clears throat> so also, um, add another quick fix for select and select. Um, maybe sometimes it would be useful. Um, and then in general, I would uh, like to switch to Maven build processes and provide code signing. Okay, let's go back to the... <clears throat> okay, and here I have to log in. Yeah. While we're here, we can just have a look at the um, at the configuration of the plugin. We see that um, the plugin has uh, the name. This is the other Quickflix plugin of uh, Wukash. And um, what we added was the extension point. Um, extension point additional quick fixes, and the extension point provides uh, a schema which um, includes um, the iFix dependent. And then we also need to export those packages, um, which are which I've done uh, quite conservatively. So um, if someone wants uh, has the idea to do the same thing, to have a plugin of the QuickFix plugin, with a special purpose um, and you need some more, uh, maybe you just contact uh, Wukash and maybe you can add another um, functionality, another package to the export list. And on the other side, we see the plugin configuration of the S4 plugin. Here we see that we, among others, use the additional quick fixes. And that's basically it. Okay. So um, let's go back again. We wanted to, to show, uh, what did I do? Let's try this one. Let's comment out the original. So, <clears throat> ah, yeah. so the original is here and we see there's a mistake and um, there's an indentation where it shouldn't be. And for this, um, I think we should provide a fix. And um, in order to show you how um, to program and to debug this plugin, um, I will just now start uh, the debugger and start a new instance. Uh, this we can just ignore and we start a new instance of Eclipse and wait for a minute or so and then we can do the same thing in this new instance with our just um, provided code okay we go to the same object And first, uh, we will try to use the same settings. And mm, then we go back to our original one and turn on debugging. And we choose one of those statements. Ah. Actually, we have to get out of this one here. So let's, um, I don't know, let's take any of those. Let's take this one. <clears throat> so um, I have already added a, um, a breakpoint here at this uh, location. 
where I know that this uh, error might occur. And in this case, uh, we have um, um, the leading uh, string here, which is just contain contains uh, some line feeds, and there is an indentation in here. And um, I've provided the fix already and uncommented it. Um, and I will do the opposite now. And then I just go on. Um, actually, we can't use the same thing, but um, now we can run the same progress again, process again, and we see that the un uncommented the error will not occur in the new version anymore. <clears throat> so if someone wants to build another system, um, another plugin for that extends the other quick fix plugin by Wukash, um, there would be uh, no problem to do this in Eclipse. So <clears throat> here's the plugin of uh, Wukash. Um, here's my plugin. You can install it from the um, install page or you can install it from the marketplace. Um, and this is the paper that I showed uh, the little demo from. And last, I would like to um, point you to uh, the influence program of the SAP for the ADT. And here I have added um, um, two simple change requests for one for the um, project explorer. Um, here, uh, it would be nice, uh, in my opinion, to have the camel case notation, um, which is uh, available. And also it would be nice to have the other doc, uh, obviously the S view in the element view. If you want to uh, support this, please vote for this. And um, maybe if Thomas listens, uh, then I know you're always eager to fulfill the needs. Uh, if this is a small change, please. Well, that's it.